In this demo I'm going to show you how to leverage the Oracle Developer Cloud Service to manage the source version management for an ADF application. So we have here the Summit ADF application, something you can get from OTN. This is JDeveloper 12C and we're going to use the Developer Cloud Service that I got by getting um, a Java Cloud Service trial version and we're going to create um, a new project for it. So in the developer cloud service you have the concept of projects. Now projects here don't actually map to projects in JDeveloper. It's not even an application. A project can actually have multiple applications. But in order to keep it simple in this demo I am going to create a new project. I'm going to call it the Summit ADF app project. You can have a description if you want to. Click next. Um, I'm not going to use any templates for this project and I'm going to use Markdown as the language for my wiki. And when I click finish, the developer cloud service goes over and provision for me a complete environment where I can manage the lifecycle of my application. When it's done, you're going to get this screen. Okay? And one of the interesting thing here is this URL. This is the URL to my Git repository. So I'm going to copy it Okay, and I'm going to use it in a minute. So now let's go over into JDeveloper. What I want to do is I actually want to check in this project into the cloud. So to do that, the first thing you want to do is initialize a local Git repository. Okay. And then from Git, we're going to do add all. Basically add all the files into this repository. I'm going to say list of all the files and click OK. Now you have the little plus sign next to all of them because they've been added and the next thing to do is from here you can actually commit everything. So this will be our first check-in of the project and we're going to click OK. All right. So this is now committed locally, now I need to actually push it to the cloud. So again, from the application menu, versioning, I'm going to go push. And it's going to ask for a repository URL, which is what you just copied from the cloud instance. Okay, put in your username and password. Click next. And we're going to create a master branch with this code and click finish. You can see the progress down here. And we're done. So now let's go over to our cloud environment and let's actually click the home button again. And what you can see here is actually the transaction that just happened. So we committed a change, I did it, and this is the comment that we just put in. And that's great. Now, if you actually click on the code, you can actually see your whole project up here and you can actually navigate to specific files. All right, let's go and actually branch our code. So back into JDeveloper we go. And what we're going to do now is we're going to perform a checkout from the master into a new branch. We'll call it Fix Bugs. And here we're going to go and fix some bugs. So for example, one thing we can do here is maybe open one of the pages. And we're going to change this title from welcome to say hello. And we'll just save this. Okay, so we can see the indication that there's a change here. Of course, don't forget to um, open your pending changes window in JDeveloper. It would help you see candidates and ongoing changes. So we can see there's this change. Let's actually add it to our project. Okay, and we can also commit this. And now we're ready to actually push it back to the server. Okay, 
still connecting to the same repository. But this time we're going to push it into a new branch called the fixed bug. Okay, next and finish. Right, we're done here. Let's go back into the cloud and back to the home tab. And our feed just updated with the new change that we did. Okay. Um, if you actually click on the change, you can actually see the exact change that happened. So the two lines and what has changed. And one interesting thing you can do here is you can actually um, request code reviews um, and we're doing it through the merge request but in order to do it one thing that probably would make sense is to add another team member so let's add another team member to our repository now we have another team member and he can actually review our code so let's go and do a merge request I'm going to create a new request here We'll call it the hello request and it's coming from the git repository and again there could be many git repositories is inside this project and we're going to target the master for this request and we're reviewing the fixed bug branch and in terms of reviews again we get a list and we're just going to actually add me right now and we can actually add both of the people as reviewers here Okay. And we're going to create the review. Okay. So here we have it. Uh, we got the um, review tab. Okay. We can see which commits have been inside this review and what were the changes. Okay, and I can look at it and I can say, okay, this looks fine. So I can actually write, looks okay, ready for a merge. And then I can reject or approve. So I'm going to approve this request. Like that. Okay. Now we can wait for the other guy to actually complete his review. Um, if we don't want to wait, we can just remove him. Okay, so we'll skip him as a reviewer. Let's look at our merge request so now. Okay, so this one is actually now in an open state. And I can go into it. And now, because there's no other reviewers, I can actually do the merge. So let's click the merge. click OK. All right. And now if we go back into our home, everything is documented here in our feed. If we go actually to the code, okay, and we are now looking at the master branch, under the view controller, we have the public HTML, we have the index.jsf page, we can actually see the hello message over here. So that's basically a complete life cycle, uh, working with Git from JDeveloper into the cloud and doing code reviews in the cloud.